Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is your boy Murder One back again for another Quake 4 gameplay video. Today we got a 2v2 on Quake 4 Max, me and Crimson versus Dead Center and Belf, and uh, we're on the map Spiral. Took a little hi hiatus uh, from YouTube and uh, glad to be back. Uh, definitely missed you guys. I saw a lot of the comments. Uh, appreciate the comments, but. Uh, you know where have I been? Long story short, uh, Quake for vids don't pay the bills, so <laughs> that's where I've been. But we're back. Got a little free time, so we're back. I'm gonna make a vid for you guys to enjoy. Hopefully, you guys like it. So, jumping right in on the map spiral, we got a nice pop up there on Belf to take a two-one lead. Of course, this map has the regen as the power up, which uh, you know is probably my favorite uh, power up in a two v two because it's not too crazy. It's basically just a heal over time and it ticks you up uh, to a mega health level um, heal which is you know 200 hit points so that's basically just adding an extra mega health on the map and you gotta wait and not taking any da damage to get it of course so I, I think that's a nice mild power up that doesn't change the gameplay too much I'm gonna pick up this uh, red armor now and uh, look to uh, get a kill with it DC is going to jump up the jump pad there, uh, easy kill. And so now the score is 5-3. to three. Yeah, all four of us in this game were our members of the same clan. At the time of this uh, demo, or when we played this game, I don't believe Crimson was in the uh, clan, but shortly after Crimson um, was uh, inducted into the clan. So uh, this was all four of us, um, you know, duking it out. I believe I have a couple of other games too from this particular play session that we had. Uh, pretty close games on a couple of different maps, so I'll be probably uploading those over the uh, next couple months or so, I, I believe. Not sure how often I'll be able to make vids because I'm uh, pretty, pretty busy IRL nowadays. So, um, you know, I'll try to fit them in where I can. Score's now 6 to 5, and we. Uh, Hang around the lightning gun room on this map as we like to do. Pretty cool strat to um, enact in duels and in uh, TDM is weapon control. Me coming from a Doom 3 background where weapon control was paramount in that game. You know, it's uh, something I'm, I'm incredibly used to and I try to implement that when I play uh, Quake. I believe the respawn time in TDM was like 15 seconds for the weapon. Could be uh, 25, but I, I believe it's 15. And so, you know, it gives you a nice long period of time um, for you to get some stuff done in between when the weapon spawns back. So, uh, there is some nuance that you can play around with in terms of, you know, not ignoring items. So, if a situation comes up where I could get the red or I could get the lightning gun sometimes you'll see me just choose to get the lightning gun because if the other guy doesn't have a weapon then a red armor with a machine gun is not really gonna do much against me with you know no armor and a lightning gun so there is a little bit of nuance in there that you can play around with of course if the guy has insane aim <laughs> then that machine gun will put in some work but uh on average um, you know everyone is halfway decent with the machine gun. No one is super insane with it, so you can take that gamble. Picking up this yellow armor now, don't have much health, and get a nice long range rocket there on Belf. Scores now 12 to eight. Spawns back in close to us, so we uh, try to uh, take control of the red. And uh, some insane top down rails there from Belf. Nice work there really good uh, for those of you who play you know that top down uh, rails are uh, you know pretty uh, probably one of the more difficult shots in uh, in quake so for him to hit those there was pretty good and by top down I mean like the vertical angle so those are not easy to hit Uh, got sandwiched there by the rocket launcher spawn, so we uh, fall. Score is now 14 to 3. They're uh, closing the gap on us. So we look to uh, tighten up the gameplay now and um, 
you know, buckle down. Decent strat there for the um, the regen pickup. Uh, DC just uh, waiting uh, waited on us there to come up, which is a, a strat you will see from time to time in two v twos. Um, work, that strat works better with the quad, but um, you know when the regen is the power up, it doesn't really work that well. Meaning, if I know that you're going to do that, like if I you know catch on for the next time that you're up there waiting i'm just gonna not go get the regen and go stack up with the mega health and the uh red armor and the yellow and the shot you know i'll just play that way because the regen as i said is very mild power up so um you know it, it might not 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 always a good decision to uh wait or camp by it waiting for someone to come up to try to get it worked out for him that time though but um that strat is uh, very good versus um, you know when you have the quad damage as the as the uh, power up because the quad damage can combat the stack of the opponent if they choose to you know just lay off of it. So you know, as with everything in Quake, you gotta take your gamble. You know, as I said, there is nuance in, in every aspect of the game, so choose your battles wisely. 21 to 17 now. Coming up on the 7 minute mark. Nice kill there by Belf. Hitting us with a little uh, mid range LG. Trying to get some work done with the Hyper Blaster and make our way over to the Lightning Gun room. Get the 50 health bubble, get the Lightning Gun, and try to spam the corner there, prevent him from coming in. We're going to grab the regen now. Should be back up in two minutes, so around 8.45, 8.46. And um, I'm going to try and get some work done. Nice maneuverability by Belf there, avoiding a lot of our shots. As I said before, one of my favorite things about uh, Quake 4 is the ability to dodge rockets and the like because the uh you know the movement is the hitboxes are small and the movement is very fast side to side when you're uh, actually playing so i hate uh hate quake games that have big clunky models and you 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 know well not ne not necessarily quake games but afps's where you can't dodge anything you're just fat and getting hit all the time so to me that's pretty uninteresting. One of my favorite aspects of Quake 4 is the ability to make the other person miss. And when you get uh, in the very high levels, people that are very good with predictably dodging, like look at that situation right there. You know, you gotta you gotta try very hard to uh, hit those shots. It's not a given. So even someone that spawns in with the machine gun. If they are very, very good at dodging, they have a nice chance of uh, making it out of some spawn frags versus the guy with the rocket if they can dodge properly and, and you know, use the machine gun. Stuff like that adds to the overall balance of the game. When you play Quake 4, you don't ever really feel like you're getting cheated, you know, when you die, which is always a good feeling. Uh, when you die, you're like, okay, he outplayed me on that uh, frag you know he out aim me out dodge me and the item controls some something to that effect there's no oh i couldn't beat that or i couldn't do anything and that's even with uh, the spawn frags but of course that's just my opinion gonna get a nice uh cleanup kill there on dc went up the jump pad again you guys know that rule I always say, don't go up the jump pad. Better to just, if you know you're gonna die anyway, just stay on the ground, dodge as long as possible, and do as much damage as possible. I'm gonna crouch slide around the corner now and uh, get belt with that rocket. Secure the red now and <laughs> see DC waiting at the uh, teleported there. I thought I was gonna come through, trying to gauntlet me. 
but close game man 27 29 to 27 and uh, we're gonna look to uh, you know try and close this one out coming up on the 10 minute mark now I believe the time limit in this game was 15 minutes accidentally shot uh, crimson there we did have team damage on because uh, we you know when you have team damage on the games are less spammy so you gotta pick your shots and be more mindful of who is where and things of that nature so we did play some over the uh, years though that didn't have team damage but I think this particular group we enjoyed um, the team da damage aspect at least within this window of time when we were playing because I can distinctly remember some games where we played that uh, we did take the team damage off. I'm gonna grab the lightning gun now, head back in around to the mega health room. Got stopped there at the doorway, so uh, I'm gonna look to uh, grab this regen now gonna avoid some fights to let it tick up pick up the red armor as well and now that we're in a decent stack we uh, look to advance forward and uh, bulldoze our way into some fights a couple nice uh, kills there now while well, Belf uh, accidentally uh, rocketed himself so using his power up now to uh, try to get the lead a little bit wider still a uh, very close game and this is kind of what I mean by the region not being too powerful, you know. It's literally basically just a mega health, so. If the opponents can position themselves to get the other uh, items on the map, like the mega health, then they're kind of even at an advantage over you because you literally have to wait for the uh, region to tick up. 200 so if they can instantly grab the mega you're pretty much on the same footing kind of so things to keep in mind you know getting this red armor again now back in the LG room gonna pick up that dead body rocket and uh, four frag lead so we are uh, looking to secure this uh, 12 minute mark, we try to advance on Belf, did a nice defensive rocket there, so we abort on that fight. Look to catch him in the red armor room, we do, clean up that kill with the LG. As we approach the 13 minute mark. Gonna get a nice rocket there on Belf, oh, that was a good fight, everybody, we, we both hit all our shots. Our stack kind of helped us out there though, thank god. Now we make it up to the grenade launcher platform and uh, had a little skirmish there. Waiting on this red again of course and uh, gonna grab the region in the interim. Once again low health so we bail out to let it tick us up. Trying to avoid any serious fights until we can get a decent stack going as the general strat that we like to use thought that was the enemy there accidentally shot crimson my bad crimson and yeah we're approaching the 14 minute mark now i believe uh I believe it was 15 minutes uh not sure could could be 20 i know back in the day we used to play a lot of 20 minute games too so but I'm pretty sure this one was 15. So just looking to stall here now and waste the time out and not give up too many easy frags. Crimson is gonna join us now by the mega health room. And we're gonna try to do some work with this shotgun. <laughs> and that was a comedy of uh, misses there. Like I said before, my shotgun is garbage. Now I'll probably be looking to uh, get back into um, playing some more games too. I haven't played in a while as well. Um, Belf 
is the one I usually deal with and he stopped playing like about I want to say maybe nine months ago and so kind of just took a break as well so we haven't really been on playing but uh you know hopefully can get some games back in quake 4 is my favorite quake so always looking to get some games in so the game ends there score 45 to 41 very close game between uh, clan mates and uh yeah glad to be back guys hope you guys like this video please go ahead and support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and liking and sharing the video it really helps a lot thank you guys once again man hope you guys have a great day it's your boy murder one peace